guys, it's Hairstyles Heather, and Cameron is sleeping in her swing right now. Or I would be holding her. I don't want to bother her while she's sleeping. If she wakes up a little bit in a minute, I'll show you guys. Well, I'll still show you guys even if she's asleep what she's looking like right now. But you see us every day in our daily vlogs, so you kind of know what she's looking like and everything. But I don't want to bother her while she's sleeping. I did want to get to her one week update. And I cannot believe she's one week old. And her first week, we pretty much were at the hospital in the NICU. It is just so crazy and like such a different experience from the other girls. So it was really hard to style in our daily vlogs. Like it was like, I just sympathize with the NICU now like so much and pray for those babies so much because I just know how hard that is. And like, I was just so ready to get home. Like even with the girls just being there, being at the hospital for two and three days, like I'm just, I just love being at home. And so to be at the NICU and I knew that she needed the time there with her jaundice. She pretty much had jaundice. Um, she had the CPAP to help with her breathing just a little bit at the beginning. And then it was mainly her jaundice that they were watching and wanting her just to like eat really good and wanted me to feed her every three hours, 12, three, six, nine. Now, like every three hours they wanted me to wake her up and feed her. And I would feed her about, she'd eat like, 10 15 minutes and then it was really hard to wake her up sometimes she was just so sleepy just being and she was laying on like a heated bed and then with the jaundice lap too i think just made her so sleepy and since she was early and stuff too if she was really early if y'all want to see i talk about that in my last postpartum video but i really don't know if I think they had a dude up for whatever. But anyway, so, and then I was, at first it started out with the 10 mLs, then 20, went all the way up to 50, which means the 50 mL is like two ounces, I think. So, depending on how much she would breastfeed is how much I would give her of the bottle. But that was just to make sure she was eating really good. And then, so after doing all that, then I would breast pump for about 20 minutes. And so I've stocked up on some, so that's awesome when I go back to work and everything. Now that we're at home, I am feeding her about every three to four hours. Like if she's still sleeping and it's three hours, I don't have, I'm not like, I have to wake her up to eat right at three hours. I'll give her three and a half hours to four. And usually by then she is starting to kind of wake up a little bit. But if not, I still have to wake her up pretty much at least by four hours. Quite a few times during the day, she just still just wants to eat and sleep. And most of the time she just wants to eat and go right back to sleep. And I, once she gets a little bit older, I'll start a routine of her eating, staying awake a little bit, then sleep, and then eat, stay awake a little bit, and then sleep during the day. And then at night, I just eat and go right back to sleep. But for her, she is more like, she, like if I have to try to wake her up and stuff, I try to get her good and awake so that she'll eat good. And so she'll start having cues like she's ready to eat, but I still try to just kind of play with her, let the girls kind of hold her feet and hand and just look at her for a little bit, and she'll be like looking around. Not long though, because she gets like, she's ready to eat. So, but usually when I feed her, she falls asleep. And I try to burp her, and she doesn't wake up. She just stays asleep right now. So that's just her being her little newborn self. So she's mainly just eating and sleeping a lot right now. The girls love her so much. They want to be all over her. If you want to see in the daily vlogs, they just love her so much and want all the time with her. And it's been... It's been hard though, like whenever we're all at home, just cause Kinsley and Claire want my attention and they're just, they want me to do so much and I'm still trying to like recover from the C-section and also it's just like, ah, I'm pulled all these different ways. But we've had some good babysitters too along the way to help so that I can still try to recover and rest a little bit also when baby's resting. Um, but she really, like I'm so lucky and I hope it keeps going like this because at night she just eats, goes right back to sleep. And right now she's in the pack and play beside my bed and I just lay right there and she'll go back to sleep. She is, she'll kind of grunt and stuff and then I'll give her a passy and she'll go off to sleep and she's good to go. And I'm trying not to like rock her so much or have her rocking in the swing and stuff because I don't want her to get used to having to be rocked to sleep. I just want her to be able to go to sleep on her own. It's kind of like what she's doing now so I'm trying to do that. Um, she still, she loves the just the sitting um, like reclined in the pack and play and the swings. So th that's where she is most of the time, other than if she's laying in her pack and play. We did have a doctor's appointment, so she was 6'2 ounces, they said, when we left the hospital the day before. They said she was 6'10 ounces, and I think one of them were off. Either 
I think the hospital was probably off. I don't think that she had gained, because she was six, two, she went from six, seven, I think, to six, two, then she was like six, six, and then six, ten, we went home, and then back at six, two, I think maybe she had lost the weight from being at the hospital and everything, and like, she's probably more around the six, two at the hospital, I mean, at the doctor's appointment, so a week later, we're going here soon, the end of this week, to just check her weight and see if she's gained weight. Hopefully she'll be six pounds closer to her birth weight at being two weeks old. So we really hope for that. So I hope that goes great. Pours her sizes right now. She's in all newborns. Could be in preemie stuff, but I don't have any preemie stuff. So she's just all in her newborn clothes, sleepers, diapers, all that kind of stuff. I wonder how long she'll be in that because I'm not used to that. With the girls being eight pounds already, like they moved up the, to the zero to three month and the one size diaper is like pretty quickly so i don't know like how hers will be being a little bit smaller this time and it is so crazy that she said well, i'm just not used to having little bitty babies like that yeah working i'm gonna get back to work soon and i'll be taking her with me and for about another month um so that i can still breastfeed her really good i'm not gonna be like super busy or anything she's gonna do great daddy is gonna be there some days too to help me so that'll be good and it, she doesn't like her personality it's so crazy how their little personalities show out but the girls i swallowed them tightly like from the very beginning and with cameron with her being nikki like all spilled out and stuff she did not care when we got home the first night i tried to swaddle her up really tight and i don't think she liked it at all so i do though start getting them on a routine and everything soon like not quite yet but soon and like to try to swaddle her up, I just do it very lightly so that she can still get her arms out if she wants to. And she seemed to like that a lot better. She's doing really good though. She's doing awesome. I, I really hope when we get that like she's gained some weight. She's, I feel like she's eating a lot better now because she would eat like 10 to 15 minutes and now I feel like she eats a good 15, 20 minutes and I really feel like my milk is coming in and she's getting a lot more now. Yeah. I do want to do a nursing um, video and show you all of my nursing tips and all my nursing stuff that I've got for nursing because I am like terminated nurse like as long as I can this time and um, I've got some tips to show for nursing too so I'm going to do a video on that soon. I just wasn't as quite prepared or had as many like nursing tank tops and bras and all that kind of stuff to feel comfortable doing it and so this time like I'm just like determined to do it really good and I've already started pumping so when I get to work I'll be able to pump and I, since I've already been doing it I'm like really comfortable with it and so I feel like when I am at this line I'm not with Cameron when she's about two months or so whenever we start with that then and I'm getting busier for the holidays and stuff then I think I'll be able to um, pump and then she'll have milk here to eat which I've already got stored up thankfully so that's awesome yeah, so I really want to show her to y'all. I think I'm going to get her. We're about to go eat some lunch with my mom, and I want to show you what her, she's looking like and just say hey in the video. Here is Camry at one week old. Molly's wanting to come. So sweet. She's so beautiful. Look at her hair. She looks so much like Claire. I know a lot of you guys have commented who she looks like, like looking like Kinsley and Claire. To me, I feel like she looks just like Claire, but the way she's acting already, even at one week old, is more like Kinsley. So I feel like she's going to look like Claire, but act like Kinsley. I don't know. We'll see. But you can see where she had her ivy in her hand right there, and then they had to put it in her arm, and they got her little Tweety Bird, little Tweety Bird Band-Aid, and then her feet. I want to shoot. So, but her nose looks so much like Claire's. And then I wanted to show her little foot where they had to prick it so many times so crazy look at her little foot that was from the john that's where they had to keep checking her but i love her little footies foot footies and then her little hands show them your little hands camera hmm. can't believe we're gonna be watching another little girly grow up and it's so crazy to see how tiny she is and to remember the girls being so little, which they weren't ever this tiny, which is crazy. Just her getting older and having time with the, her sisters and the girls and all, so I love her so much.
<laughs> and her ears are like pinned back, like so close to her head. We don't remember the girls being like that. If anything is different, is that. And then her ears, I feel like look like Joel's. Like mine are like looped and his are like connected. Hers look like they're connected more so than the loops. It looks like she has blue eyes. I mean, they're super dark right now. And she's just a cutie cutie. I still can't believe that she had to be here. Emergency C-section in it. We don't know if she was like head up the whole time. Or if she was breached the whole time. Or like if she did that that day, that night or whatever. When we were doing the labor and delivery and everything. So we don't know exactly. But it's so crazy. Because I was supposed to have an ultrasound. They thought she was getting bigger and stuff like that. And I think I really was probably closer to my due date than they had thought. And that's why she came so early. So, Alright guys, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe, comment, like, check out our daily vlogs and our other videos. Putting up a lot lately. Hopefully they're not overflowing y'all's feed and everything. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos. So I'm going to be, I have a lot of free time right now. So. I'm going to try to get to some more videos like this one I can before I get too busy at the salon and everything. So, I'll try to get back for her, what, three, two week, three week update. And then, it'll be one month. That's crazy. It's crazy. She's going to grow. I thought she's just going to grow up so fast with this being so busy. I want to enjoy this time with her being so little. I just love it. It's so sweet. Okay, guys. See y'all guys soon. Bye.